Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, how are you? I hope all of you are doing well by the blessings of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine. I am Nusrat Jahan, teacher of Milestone Preparatory KG School, Class 2, Sector 7. Welcome you all to today's our mathematics class through online. Students, can you tell me what was our previous topic? Yes, it was division. Have you practiced at home? I hope everybody has practiced at home. And another thing, you have to memorize multiplication tables because it is very important for doing divisions. Students, now I want to ask you some basic information on division. I know everybody knows about these informations. So my dear students, can you tell me what is division? Yes, division is to divide something equally. Very good. Now, another question. What is called the result of division? Yes, the result of division is called quotient. What? Quotient. Everybody spell with me. Quotient. Q-U-O-T-I-E-N-T. -E quotient. Yes. Now, can you tell me what is the opposite method of division? Yes, the opposite method of division is multiplication. The opposite method of division is multiplication. Now, my dear students, let's practice some divisions. Students, let's solve these two division problems. Here, I have shown you two ways of divisions. Number A is vertical way and number B is horizontal way. Let's solve number A. Here, 40 is divided by 8. To find out the result, we have to read here multiplication table of 8. So, how many times does 8 go in 40? Yes, already we know 8 fives are 40. So, 8 goes 5 times in 40. Isn't it my dear students? Now, we need to subtract these two numbers that give us a remainder. And what is the remainder? Let's see. Yes, the remainder is 0. And the answer is 5. So in division, we use some special terms for these numbers. 40. Yes, 40 is divided here. The number to be divided is dividend. And 8 is divisor. The number that divides dividend is divisor. And number 5 is quotient. Yes, the result of division is called quotient and 0 is here remainder. The leftover number of division is called remainder. Okay, my dear students. Now, let's see number B. Divide 63 with 9. So, how many times does 9 go in 63? Yes, already we know. 9 sevens are 63. So 9 goes 7 times in 63. So what is the quotient here? Yes, the quotient is here 7. So my dear students, you will practice more divisions at your home. Okay, my dear students, let's move our today's topic. Today we are going to solve two word problems.
from your elementary mathematics book page number 69 exercise number 1 and 2 so everybody knows what is what problem yes what problem is a mathematical exercise where the information on the problem is presented in sentences and numbers both so my dear students before discussing our today's topic i want to tell you about two kinds of division this is very important for understanding the word problem on division students already we have learned two kinds of divisions do you remember what we can find in these two kinds of divisions yes in the first one we can find the number of objects in each group and the second one we can find the number of groups so my dear students in our previous class we did two word problems where we solve how to find the number of objects in each group so today we are going to solve another two problems where we will solve how to find the number of groups so my dear students i want to discuss again these two kinds of divisions for your better understanding let's see an example where we can find the number of objects in each group there are 12 candies if three children share these candies equally how many candies will each child get students look if we share these 12 candies among three children how many candies will each child get? Let's see. When we share one candy with these three children, the total number of candies is three. If we share two candies among these three children, the total number of candies is six. If we share three candies with these three children, the total number of candies is 9. If we share 4 candies among these 3 children, the total number of candies is 12. So my dear students, look, every child gets 4 candies. Look. So my dear students, if we divide the total number of candies with the number of groups, then we can find the number of candies each child gets. Okay, my dear students, let's see. Here, the total number of candies is 12 and the number of group is 3. So, if we divide 12 with 3, we get 4 as a result by using multiplication table of 3. So, each child gets four candies so my dear students i i hope everybody has understood this example student let's see another example where we can find the number of groups there are 12 candies if each child gets four candies how many children can get candies students look there are 12 candies if we give four candies to each child from these 12 candies so one child will get four candies two children will get eight candies three children will get 12 candies so my dear students these 12 candies can be distributed among three children by giving four candies each okay my dear students now let's see if we divide the total number of candies with the number of candies each child gets then we can find the number of groups 
let's see here 12 is the total number of candies and 4 is the number of candies each child gets so if we divide 12 with 4 we get 3 as a result by using multiplication table of 4 so my dear students Three children can get candies. I hope everybody has understood this example. Students, I mentioned earlier, today our topic is what problems on division. So my dear students, let's see some keywords and steps for what problems on division. Some keywords for problems on divisions are divided by, shared equally or evenly, how many in each, how many in groups, and so on. So my dear students, these keywords will help you to find out the problems on division. If we want to solve problems on division, we have to maintain these three steps and these are statement writing, calculation and answer writing. Okay, my dear students, take out your CW copy and write top of the page today's classwork number and date. Then write today's topic's name. So today our topic is what problem on division. Then write your book's name so what is your book's name yes it is elementary mathematics book then write page number 69 exercise number one and two so today we will solve exercise number one and two from page number 69 so my dear students have you finished your writing now students Take out your elementary mathematics book and go through page number 69. Today we will solve exercise number 1 and 2 from this page. So my dear students, today we will solve these two exercises in your CW copy. Okay students, let's see how can we solve exercise number 1. We distributed 32 liches among a few children and each child gets 8 liches. So how many children were there? So here we will find out the total number of children. So students, if we divide total number of liches with the number of liches each child gets, then we will find out the total number of children. So my dear students, let's see how can we arrange the statement. So my dear students, already you know, if we solve any word problem, you have to maintain three steps. The first step is what? Statement writing. Then you will do calculation. Then answer writing okay so let's see how can we arrange the statement for exercise number one okay students look in the first line you can write eight liches were distributed to one child so the total number of liches are 32 so in the second line you can write 32 liches were distributed to 32 divided by 8. So here 32 is the total number of liches and 8 is the number of liches each child gets. So my dear students, now we will find out the result. Now here we will read the multiplication table of 8. So can you tell me how many times 
does 8 go in 32? Yes, 8 goes 4 times in 32. Already we know the times table of 8. So, 4 8s are 32. So, what is the answer here? Yes, it is 4. So, I will write here 4. Now, what is the answer? 4 children. Now, I will write the answer. So, they ask how many children were there? So, we will write here, there were four children. Let's write. So, there were four children. Students, I hope all of you have understood exercise number one. Let's move exercise number two. Our school has 45 notebooks for an award to students. If the school gives one student five notebooks, so, how many students will get the award? So, here we will find out the number of students. Here, if we divide the total number of notebooks with the number of notebooks each student gets, then we will find out the number of students. So let's see how can we arrange the statement first. Students, in the first line you can write five notebooks will be given to one student. So the total number of notebooks are 45. So you can write in the second line 45 notebooks will be given to 45 divided by 5. If we divide 45 with 5, then we will find out the result. So, can you tell me how can we find out the result? Yes, here we can find the result by using multiplication table of 5. So, can you tell me how many times does 5 go in 45? Yes, 5 goes 9 times in 45. Yes, we know 5 nines are 45. So, what is the answer here? Yes, the answer is 9. So, 9 students will get the error. So, they ask, how many students will get the error? So, I can write the answer here. What? Nine students will get the error. Let's write the answer. Nine. Students. Will. Yes, nine students will get the award. Okay, my dear students, I hope all of you have understood today's lesson and you will practice this two word problems at your home again okay my dear students students have you finished your writing okay let's match with your cw copy 
Solution number one. In the first line, you will write eight leeches were distributed to one child. Then the total number of leeches are 32. So 32 leeches were distributed to 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4 children. So the answer is what? 4 children. So you will write there were 4 children. I hope everybody has finished. Okay. Let's see solution number 2. Okay. Look at the first line. 5 notebooks will be given to one student. So 45 notebooks will be given to 45 divided by 5 is equal to, yes, 9 students. So the answer is 9 students will get the award. Okay, my dear students. Students, take out your diary and write today's homework. Today's homework number is 5. You will do exercise number 3 and 4 from book page number 72. Students, again take out your elementary mathematics book and open page number 72. Exercise number 3 and 4 you will do in your homework copy. Exercise number three. Two persons equally divide eight mangoes. How many mangoes will each person get? So my dear students, here we will find out the number of objects in each group. Let's see how can we solve it. Here are eight mangoes and we will divide these eight mangoes among two persons. So how many mangoes will each person get? Here eight is the total number of mangoes and two is the number of persons. If we divide eight with two, we get the number of mangoes each person gets. Here, we can find the answer by using multiplication table of 2. Already, we know 4 to the 8. So, 2 goes 4 times in 8. So, the result is 4. So, each person gets 4 mangoes. Students, let's see. How can we arrange the statements and solve this problem? In the first line, we can write two persons will get eight mangoes. Here we will find out how many mangoes will each person get. So we can write one person will get eight divided by two mangoes. We know two fours are eight. So two goes four times in eight. So the answer is four mangoes. Now how can we arrange the answer? Yes, you can write like this way. Each person will get four mangoes. Exercise number four. Four persons equally divide 24 lozenges. How many lozenges will each person get? There are 24 lozenges. If we divide these 24 lozenges among 4 persons equally, how many lozenges will each person get? Here, 24 is the total number of lozenges and 4 is the number of persons. So, if we divide 24 with 4, we can find how many lozenges will each person get? So here we can find the result by using multiplication table of 4. So we know 4 6 are 24. So 4 goes 6 times in 24. So the result is 6. 
So each person will get six lozenges. Okay, my dear students, let's see how can we arrange the statements and solve this problem. In the first line, we can write four persons will get 24 lozenges. So here we will find out how many lozenges will each person get. So in the next line, we can write one person will get 24 divided by four lozenges. So we know 4, 6 are 24. So 4 goes 6 times in 24. So the result is 6 lozenges. So now how can we write the answer? Yes, the answer is each person will get 6 lozenges. Okay, my dear students, no more today. I want to finish my class with the hope that the difficulties of these uncertain times will soon be over and we will be able to welcome you again in the school campus as before. Okay, my dear students, thank you. Take care and stay safe.